Emily Bayman. I'm a first year dental assisting student here at EVIT. So at the beginning of the year, we start studying with all of the different bones of the face, muscles, and all of that. Then we slowly move into more specific dental kind of procedures where we learn teeth numbering and how to kind of work in an actual dental office with all the procedures, all of the dental tools, and how to kind of assist a doctor and bring patients back. Right now we're currently studying radiology so we can take a radiology exam in about the next month. So that's what the next six weeks of our course are right now. At the beginning of the year, we did a very much so hands-on project where we had to make a mouth and then label all the different parts of it along with like the nose and outside parts of the mouth. And those are the projects over there that you can probably see in the background. It's a one-year program. So the only prerequisite to get in here is you have to have anatomy and physiology. You can take it at your high school or at EVIT. And then after that, you're able to kind of apply for this program. Mrs. Feingold is super, super nice. She is very much so wanting us to understand the materials and it's not just putting a PowerPoint on and going over it as a class. If we have questions, she's very good about answering them either individually or as a class if multiple people are confused. And also very good about putting them into practice in our dental lab and showing us the proper techniques to use them and why we use them in like certain situations. So by the end of this year, we will be CPR certified and then we get certified to take dental x-rays in an office through the RHS exam. Starting the end of February, we do an 11 week externship. So Monday through Thursday, instead of coming to the EVIT classroom, we go to a dental office and kind of get the in and outs of an office. We get to practice sterilization in a real office as well as like helping a doctor but we get the opportunity to kind of work in a real office and not just with like high school students and with each other, kind of working with real patients that are coming in and out. With dental assisting, you can come out as a dental assistant, or if you kind of seem like, oh, I like the dental field, but not so much the assisting the doctor and helping the patients. A lot of people really do go into uh, working behind the scenes or like pharmaceuticals or just like going around teaching dental offices about different products that are coming out. And then another one that's really popular is going into the lab and then you would make dentures, implants and all of that kind of stuff. That way you still get the feel of dental, but it's not so much of working with the patients and the doctors. We get in partners a lot and mix around with the class doing different projects or working in the lab with each other. One person will be the patient, someone will be the doctor, and someone can be the assistant. So you always are kind of moving around with people in your class, getting to know them. We switch off with the other class and kind of mix together sometimes. Also the aspect of just not knowing somebody and having to build that connection with them within the first five minutes, you kind of have to figure out within the dental office so you can build that connection with your patient. And we've learned how to establish those kind of connections here. I would say go for it. It's really good. It's a good way to learn if you would be interested in it instead of just going full jumping into it outside of high school. It's a good opportunity to learn and to grow not only as a student, but as somebody that's able to talk to people. You learn interview skills. You learn how to just talk to people on a day-to-day -day basis too.